So we've grown these carrots in this, uh, what is it, a five gallon grow bag from Root Maker, uh, Root Trapper 2. We just put some carrots in here and we covered them during the time of uh, the first week to get better germination rate on them. And then we cover them just with a board or a piece of or any, any material to keep the moisture down and closer to the seed so the germination rate would be higher. These have been in here for a while and you can tell that there's, uh, they're piercing through the top of the soil here. There's some green shoulders. Green shoulders are just like potato, green potatoes. You don't want to eat them because they can be toxic. If you do eat them, that's, that's your business. So they've, they've bulked up quite big here. We've got good certified leaf compost in here and we're going to go ahead and harvest these and see what what we got here. Uh, I think these were a rainbow variety carrot. Uh, that one's good. I mean they're they're not you know state fair winning but they are good bulky size carrots here. Now they do have some hair on them and that can be an indication of a couple of things and a little forking. Uh, high level of nitrogen too much water can also cause these, um, or uh, too little water can cause these to uh, produce hairs, which this was in a grow bag and wasn't watered on a regular basis. So too much, a, too la a lacking of water will cause hair on the roots of the uh, carrots. These smaller ones I could leave in, and I think that's what I will do. And this is, oh, that's a nice one there. So a nice little harvest. These here, I got a weed. Those I would just leave in. Um, and we'll plant some more carrots in behind this and grow another batch. Carrots take about uh, 60 to 70 days based on the variety. And these were rainbow carrots. So in a grow bag, they work quite well. Uh, we could have left them a little bit longer, but there was good bulkness to the carrot. And uh, very pleased with these. For more information, please visit the Wisconsin Vegetable